Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ben K Gaming with more Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Movie The Video Game. In the last episode, we got through no weenie parking anytime, and I'll let you pet Mr. Whiskers, and even up to Rock Slide. So we are on now that we're men, but because I promised we would be backtracking and going through the driving and slide missions again, we are going to be going back and doing the... Let me just turn my headphone volume down so it doesn't get too cacophony. We are going to be going back to Rub-A-Dub-Dub, -dub, Slip Slide in the Tub, doing the time challenge. So... We all saw how much, how horribly I failed on the sandwich driving mission, except at the macho time cha on the macho time challenge. But here you, you go. Guys took a while going down the slide the last time. You think? I like to stop and smell the anemones. And old tires. Well, try sliding quickly instead. If you make it under the allotted time, you'll earn a reward. Alrighty, so this time we have to beat this slide mission in 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Now, of course, the last time we did not have shortcuts available, so, but this time we will have shortcuts available. So, let's hope we don't have too much failure this episode, because now that I said that, we probably will have a ton of failure. But, anyways, the idea here is obviously avoid getting hit. What I wanted to point out, if you die, in other words, fall off the slide, your timer does not reset. Yes, you heard me. The timer does not reset. There's a shortcut there that you can take. Oh my god, I almost died after saying the timer does not reset. Uh, but yeah, no, your timer d keeps going if you die. We'll get that extra a little later, but for right now... I just want to beat the darn time limit, if that's okay with you guys. Yes, Patrick, here comes the pain train. Anyways, uh, so yeah, if you die, just consider it a forfeit, because you might as if you die, basically what I'm trying to say is, you might as well just restart the mission. Because, yeah, death is probably the worst thing that could happen to you on one of these slide missions during the time challenge. So... Yeah, and with 3 minutes and 40 seconds to spare, yeah. And I don't think... I actually don't remember what the macho time is for this, but this mission is considerably less lenient with the time limits than the sandwich driving mission. So, yeah. And of course, you don't have nitros available at your disposal on this mission, so... Yeah. So without the nitros, yes, you're going to get hit by the balls if you don't have the nitros. But basically what I'm saying is without the nitros, jeez, that was close. Note to, self, avoid those next time. Note to self, I agree, SpongeBob, avoid those balls next time. I'm probably going to get killed by this one, aren't I? Okay, thank God. I think there's health in here. Yes, there is. Thank God for that. Like I said, we're trying to minimize failure, not ex- not- encourage failure. And wow, if it's taken me this long to get down this slide with only 3 minutes and 40 seconds on the as the time limit, I'm starting to doubt that we can do this. Oh no! Oh, come on! Oh, I jumped too early. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, uh, sorry to cut in here, but... Yeah, I, f I figured out why I was getting so close to the timeline. It's because I screwed up and went the wrong way on that shortcut. I can't. I don't even remember how to use the shortcuts properly. I just remember that that's the way you go on the ring challenge. Anyways, I'll meet you guys back where I died. Okay, attempt number two at this. We actually made it this time, guys. Hooray. Anyways, um, so you may have noticed these little rods to the sides of the, um... Of, of each jump. Now, uh, those... What am I trying to say here? Those... I really just took the longest route possible. I didn't think I could make the jump, so... I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna make this time limit now. I should have taken... Basically, if there's one circle you jump, it means jump once. If there's two, jump twice. There you go. Anyways, now for the Macho Time Challenge, you're not going to want to take the path I just took on that route! 
Oh, God! Almost fell off there. Okay, we beat the time challenge. That's all that matters. We did it. Wow, that was fast. Here's your reward, as promised. <laughs> I've got a real challenge for you two. Whoa! Three-legged race? Spelling shuffleboard backwards? No. Rings will appear along the slide. You have a limited time to get through each ring. I'll reward you if you get through every ring. So yeah, now comes the ring challenge. Now this ring challenge will actually is a little bit more is a little bit trickier, which as you can see I almost missed that ring, because yeah, the rings don't stay uh, yellow for as long, and also they go in, they go places you wouldn't expect. Um, now knowing we beat the regular time challenge in three minutes and twenty seconds. I'm almost afraid to see what the Macho Time Challenge is going to bring, because, yeah. But you know what? The good thing about these ring challenges, the thing I do like about the ring challenges... Yeah, see, this is the path that the ring, ta ring challenge shows... What?! Oh, come on! I went through that! I'll be right back. Alright, let's not ricochet off the side of that wall this time. God, that was so annoying! Oh, come on! Really? Yes, if you fall off, you fail the challenge, so you might as well just restart. Anyways, attempt the third. Okay, there we go. It wasn't that hard, and somehow I still managed to screw it up. Jeez. Get it? Okay, thank God. Okay, <laughs> yeah. These ring challenges, some of them can be pretty unforgiving. Just saying. Oh, and my... Okay, let's... You know what? I'm gonna pause here, because... My... The episode that's going up today just finished pub... Just finished, uh... Just finished, uh... Saving with Final Cut Pro, but you know what? It's a good thing I paused there. Yes, I know the pause button is a thing. Alright. And fortunately... Oh, come on! Just after I get saying, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm gonna. S I've been recording for 11 minutes now. This is probably gonna be like a 50 minute recording. <sighs> Alright, did I mention that for me. Oh gosh. Did I mention that for me this is one of the hardest challenges in the game? Yeah, as a kid, I could never pass this challenge. I could never get past this challenge. I would always fail. Yeah. But I know how much you guys love watching me fail, or any Let's Player for that matter. So, yeah, because it eventually I do start swearing. And my late, and my, you know, as as you get older, you know, you don't really swear as much as you used to. But of course, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a video game without the rage. And if I do get f if, I mean, if I fail enough and get frustrated enough, I probably do start swearing. That's why I don't always say that my my content is 100% child-friendly. Okay, for a second, I thought I missed the ring there. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't say that my uh, content is 100% kid-friendly, because I do occasionally swear from time to time. But, you know, it's just one of those things where as you get older, you try to watch your language a little bit more. Of course, Unless, of course, you're in the military, where, you know, you cuss like sailors. But, uh... Anyways, this isn't the part I'm worried about. This part I'm totally cool with. It's the... Well, I think you guys could probably guess... Oh, boy. I think you guys could probably guess which part I'm not looking forward to. And it'll become apparent in just a moment here. Because... Yeah, let's get hurt and then regain our health. Yeah, this is the route you want to take. This is basically showing... Oh, jeez. No! Ah! So damn close! <sighs> it's like God doesn't want me to get this goofy goober token. No, no come on! Oh! <sighs> I hate this mission! <laughs> uh, okay! 
Everything's just fine. I'm back. Okay, no, for, for seriously now. We're back. We're back for an, another attempt at this. Yes, I've died, I think, a total of five or six times just trying to get through this one stupid mission. Yeah, oh no! Come <laughs> Love of God, I've been recording for 20 minutes! Come on! <laughs> Okay! We did it! And I know what the title of this episode is going to be. Ring Rage. You know why? Because I have... Because I have sucked at this mission long enough as a kid and even as an adult. Or maybe I should call it Red, Red Ring Rage Redemption. Here's your reward. You decide in the comments. <sighs> But we're still not done! Oh no! We've still got the Macho Time Challenge! Okay. Beat the manly time down the slide, and you'll be rewarded. Okay, Mindy, will do! So now we have to complete it in 3 minutes and 15 seconds! So, yeah. So we have... Oh my god. I... I'm already stressed out enough after that ring challenge, man. Anyways, getting back to the matter at hand, we now have... We now have 25 fewer seconds to beat this challenge. Now, I'm not going to make the same mistake I did the last time. I'm going to jump up here. We're going to go across the bridge. Get this extra, like I promised you guys I would. And there you have it. Don't hit the thingies. Yeah, if you get hit, just so you know, it does te temporarily, uh... It does temporarily make it so that you can't, um, control the tub, so... I'm just throwing that out there, uh, but it's it's for a very brief second. But yeah. Well, I can definitely make one joke about these rings. I am definitely not the lord of them. Ha! I'm so sorry. The ga it's the game basically telling me I shall not pass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, basically, the good thing about the ring challenges is they show you the shortcuts to take so that basically that helps when you go to take to do the macho time challenge. This, in my opinion, the this is probably one of the hardest levels in the game, at least for me. Jeez. Oh, boy. See, I'm having so many close calls, but uh, I guess to calm myself down, I'll talk about those little signposts you see at each jump. There's only one of them that's incorrect, and I'll, that's coming up very shortly. But basically, if there's one circle, circular sign, that means to jump once. If there's two, it means jump twice. Now here, they say jump once, but as you can see, there's no way you can make that with one jump. So, yeah. Developers, you made a mistake. But that's why I'm here. That's why the, us Let's Players are here, to help you out. All right. We're doing very poorly. Yep. Wait, what? Uh, okay! That was weird. I got stuck on the side. <sighs> Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. I can think of a lot of creative titles for this episode. Anyways. Uh, oh, and just saying, one good thing about failing uh, miserably on, this, on these missions... I will say there's one good thing. It's a good way to grind manly points. Because, yeah, you could see how many manly points I've gotten just by, yeah, there's a shortcut there which I missed, but it's okay because we're almost to the end. Alright, three minutes. We did it. Second attempt. You guys 
Thankfully, we didn't have too much failure there like we did on the ring challenge. Anyways. Oh, man. Am I stressed out You've or what? Beaten everyone's time. I do what I can. As do I. Then how about beating your best time? Okay. After all those epic fails, I think it's safe to end the episode here. So, <laughs> next time on SpongeBob SquarePants Movie the Game, we are going to be doing the time and ring challenges of no weenie parking anytime, and maybe, if I don't fail too much, the rock slide. See you guys then.